Hey eighth graders, we are nearing the end. If you look at this, we're going to work on equations of perpendicular lines. To recap last week, we worked on, um, finished up the week with working on equations of parallel lines. Now parallel lines, if you guys remember, have the same slope. Um, usually I have you guys do an investigation and we graph something that's perpendicular to this. So the first thing that I want you guys to notice, if, if the same slope are going the same direction, they are both positive. So what do you think is going to happen when we have um, two slopes that are going the opposite way because they are parallel or perpendicular, I'm sorry. Um, one is going positive and one is going to be negative. So a couple different things that we're going to highlight here is that perpendicular lines meet at a 90 degree angle or a right angle. Okay, so that's one thing to remember about perpendicular. And it says, by finding the slopes of the perpendicular lines to the right, we observe that. So we're going to find the slope of these two lines. Um, I'm going to use this point, this point, this point. So the blue line, I'm going to go up, one, two, three, and over, two. So it's a positive three halves. And then I'm going to do the red line. Find a couple points here. I have to go down, which would be negative two, and then write three. So I want you to take a peek at these two fractions, if you can see them there. We have three halves and negative two thirds. So the first thing that I want you to notice is one is positive, one is negative. The next thing that I want you to notice is that they're the same numbers, they're just flipped around. Okay? So perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Opposites, positive, negative, um, reciprocal is the flip. Okay, so we're going to just practice this really quick. Let's practice. Let's find the opposite reciprocal of four fifths. So I'm going to make it as positive, so I'm going to make it negative, and then you're going to flip it over. The opposite of negative eight thirds is positive eight thirds, but then you're going to flip it over, so it's three eighths. Opposite of positive one fourth is negative, and then you're going to flip it over, so it's going to be four over one. Opposite of negative two is a positive, but it's not going to be two, it's going to be one half. Okay, five, it's going to be a negative one fifth, because that was five over one, remember, so you're just going to flip it over. This is going to be a positive seven fourths. Next one is going to be a positive, not one over three, but three over one. The last one, a one over one is just going to be a negative one. Okay, so now we're going to practice writing the equation of the line that's perpendicular to this and contains the point. So if you guys remember last time, I really, really like this point slope form because we can take any equation if we know the slope and the point and we can find the intercept. So I'm going to reference this equation again. So if it's perpendicular, this was the slope of the line, but we need to go perpendicular to that. So it's going to be a positive four thirds. Positive four thirds. My, my point is um, three, three. So I'm going to take and I'm going to have y minus three equals four thirds x minus three. So just to remind you where I got this from, my point is three, three. My slope perpendicular to negative three fourths would be positive four thirds. So then I'm just going to simplify this. I'm going to distribute. So y minus three equals four thirds x. And then four thirds times negative three is just a negative four. Then to solve, I'm going to add the three to both sides. 
y equals 4 thirds x, negative 4 plus 3 is minus 1. Okay, so then let's check this. So I'm going to go to my graph, and I'm going to start at negative 1. And I'm, it's positive, which is a good because this one is negative. And I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 3. And if you guys can see, that landed right on that dot. Let's see if I have my ruler here. And you guys will be able to see that it is perpendicular. They do form that 90 degree angle there. So is it perpendicular? Yes. Does it go through 3, 3? Yes. So your equation is y equals 4 thirds x minus 1. Okay. Next one, same type of situation. I really like this point slope form equation. So I'm going to use that again. In this line, it's negative 4. So if that's perpendicular, that is going to be positive 1 fourth. You just flip that over, and then your point is right there. So my equation is going to be y minus, this is my x1, y1 minus 3 equals 1 fourth times x, and it turns to a plus 4 because the equation is naturally a minus. So then I'm going to distribute. 1 fourth x, 1 fourth of 4 is just 1. Anytime they have the denominator and the other number match, they actually cancel each other out and you just have the top number. So in this one, if you look up here, 4 thirds and 3, they match, so the 3's disappear and you just are left with a 4. It's kind of a cool little trick. I'm going to add 3. Y equals 1 fourth x plus 4. And we're going to check it. We're going to go to our graph. Positive 4. Um, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then up 1 over 4. Doo -doo -doo. Why does this look funny? Negative 4. That doesn't look perpendicular, does it? <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Positive 4. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I goofed. I wasn't looking closely at my equation. Let's take a peek at this. Mrs. Goldberg just made a big mistake. This equation is actually flipped around. I can't believe I didn't catch that. Too early in the morning for me, I guess. Okay, so what is my actual slope? Er, let's back this up. Forget about that. My actual slope is 2. So what would be the opposite reciprocal would be negative 1 half. Okay. So, notice how I caught that when I went to graph it. We're not always going to be as lucky to have that graph sitting right there. So, just be cautious, okay? So, my slope would be negative 1 half. So, let's start over. y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x minus 3. x minus x plus 4, sorry. Still trying to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay. Distribute y, x, okay. y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x. Half of 4 is negative 2. Add the 3 to the other side. Let's see if we can get this one right. Plus one. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to start at positive one. And then my slope is down one over two. That looks better. And I could go up one over two, up one over two. We are going to go through that point. Okay, much, much better. There's our 90 degree angle that we are looking for. Sorry about that. 
but it just shows you how if you're not looking and you're not paying attention close enough, you can make a mistake. So is it perpendicular? Yes, now. Does it go through this point? Yep. So what's our equation? Not this one. Y equals negative one half X plus one. I wonder how many of you guys were watching me do that and just like shaking your head at me. Okay. So a couple of more. So if this is a good example, if they're not in slope intercept form, we need to pull the slope and get that first. So I'm going to get Y by itself. So I'm going to move the X to the other side first. Negative 2Y equals negative X plus 5. Then I'm going to divide both sides by that negative 2. Remember, you have to divide everything by that negative 2. So this gives us Y equals positive one half x and then this is minus five halves or you could have 2.5 okay so it's perpendicular to this line so your new slope is not going to be one half it's going to be negative two or negative two over one so then you're going to take and you're going to write your equation y minus a negative 3, which turns into plus, then negative 2 times x minus 4. And you're going to distribute that negative 2, negative 2x plus 8, y plus 3 equals, minus the 3 from both sides, y equals negative 2x plus 5. So this one's going up, so this one should be a negative. Let's start at positive 5 and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down 2, 1, 2, over 1. Down 2, over 1. And it does meet up. There's your 90 degree angle. Is it perpendicular? Yes. Does it go through that point? Yes. So we can trust that our equation would be y equals negative 2x plus 5. Okay. The next one, it says write the equation line that's perpendicular to this. Again, we don't have our slope, so I'm going to find that really quick. I am going to move the 3x to the other side. I get 2y equals negative 3x plus 9. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Now remember, we are really only doing this to get the slope. So it doesn't even matter what our y-intercept is. So our slope is negative 3 halves. So the opposite of that, opposite reciprocal, would be positive 2 thirds. And then we're going to use this point, x1, y1. So my equation is going to be y plus 2 equals positive 2 thirds times x plus 3. Okay, so remember when I told you that if the denominator and the number match, you're just left with the numerator. So when I distribute that, I get 2 thirds x plus 2, because 2 thirds of 3 is 2. Minus 2 to the other side, get y equals 2 thirds x, 2 minus 2 is 0. But we don't even need that there. So we start at 0, up to... 1, 2, over 3, 1, 2, 3, down 2, over 3. You can see that it's going to go through that point. Okay. Um, is it perpendicular? Yes. Does it go through this point? Yes. So your equation is y equals 2 thirds x. Awesome. Okay, last little thing. We talk about those special cases, so those horizontal or those vertical lines. So it says write the equation of a line that's perpendicular to y equals 3. Well, if it's y equals 3, that means that perpendicular is going to be the opposite. So it's going to be an x equals, and it has to go through 1, negative 2. So where is it going to cross? Whatever that x number is. So it crosses at 1. 
Okay, so the same thing here. It's going to it's going to be the opposite. So it's not going to be x. It's going to be y, and it's going to cross wherever the y coordinate is. So this one crosses at four. So you don't technically, you wouldn't need a graph, you don't need to find the slope, you don't need to do the equation. You guys should by now be pretty comfortable with those ones so you would know that what it's going to look like. So, so now we can quickly write the equations of the lines described below. So just like I said, it's going to be the opposite if they're perpendicular. So this one's going to be a y equals, well what's the y coordinate? 3. This one's going to be an x equals, what's the x coordinate? 10. This one's going to be an x What's the x-coordinate? Negative 13. This one's going to be a y. And what's my y-coordinate? 7. And there you go. Okay, so you guys have the homework following. So it's just a front and back page. And then you guys have um, an IXL today, which I believe I posted as an assignment. Hope you guys are doing great, and we will talk to you Wednesday.